Good morning. Good morning from Columbus, Ohio, where it snowed. I was saying good morning to our new team. Expedited Adventures. Yay! <laughs> so if you haven't watched part one, go back and watch part one before you watch part two. What we're doing here is just a kind of really quick overview of what it's like to come out here uh, the first 48 hours and all the things that you have to learn. So um, there's a big disclaimer in part one on why we're not explaining terminology. We're hoping to prompt some questions uh, and, and help you understand the questions that need to be asked and also the information that you're going to get in the first couple of days and the learning you're going to go through uh, the first couple of days. So without further ado, part two. Good morning. Good morning. Hope you got some rest last night. Are you ready for day two? Right. It's going to be so much fun today. Yeah. Uh, so you moved in yesterday. You got yourself situated and settled last night. Hopefully you got a decent night's rest uh, and you're ready for a load. Are you ready for your first load? Are you? What are you going to do this morning? First you're going to call your mentors and uh, get steps on how to go available for your first load. Um, Did you do that one? Is your truck ready for a load? I said hope you got settled in. Oh, okay. Sorry. Oh, I didn't know if that was part of it. Sorry. My bad. Keep going. You gave me that one yesterday. That's why I was asking. I didn't hear you say it. That's okay. I'm fired. You're going to make me cry. I'm sorry. Okay. Keep going. So you're going to call your mentors. That'd be us or the other uh, mentors here on Panther, which are the benders. Or when you're watching this a year from now, whoever else might be mentors here at Panther. There well. you go. Right? It may right. not be us or some other benders. Yes. Um, you're in a good freight area, so you might get a load offer. Uh, guess what? There's a load offer. Just came in. What? Are oh. you not playing along with what's oh. going on here? Oh. oh, my coffee hasn't kicked in. My apologies. Wow. wow. Award for Worst Actress goes to... <laughs> I'm only the supporting actress. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right. What? You got a load offer? You just went available? That's super quick. It happens. It does. So... What do you do? Where are you going to find those details on the Panther app? Oh, what's the Panther app? What's your shipper address? How many deadhead miles do you have? What's the location of... Uh, Nope. What are your loaded miles? Mm -hmm. um, what's the date and time of pickup? Where is your consignee located? What city? Um, and what date and time does it deliver? Yeah, and what board does it put you on? Are there any special notes with your load? Is it hazmat? Does it require a hand load? Uh, lift gate? No lift gate. No lift gates allowed, no pets allowed, extra straps, bars, blankets. What exactly are there any extras? Uh, you're going to call your mentor now and discuss the load with them. Um, they're going to help you with negotiations on the load. If it's a bad load, help you make it better. If it's a good load, help you make it better. Give you, give you verbiage uh, that we would use when you talk to dispatch. And now you get to call dispatch and negotiate that load. Yes. So we're going to assume that you've been made aware on this load. Uh, after you finish your discussion with the dispatcher. Now what do you do? How do you accept the load on the Panther app? Because aware and accepting are two different things. What's next? I don't know. Oh. Well, trip planning. Uh, what time is the pickup? How long will it take you to get there? Who's driving there? Are you driving a shift? Whose shift is it? We have to discuss HOS or hours of service. How are you going to work your clocks? 
Um, is your GPS set up with the address for the shipper? Do you know how to use your GPS? Are you going the best route? What do you do when you get to a way station? Is it open? Is it closed? You go Red in. light, green light. What do you do? What do you do when you want to go in? What do you do if now you get a DOT inspection? How do you deal with traffic or road closures? How do you reroute? Do you know where you're going? Have you looked at an alternate route? Construction. Um, are you getting familiar with your truck? Buttons, lights, mirrors. How does the engine brake work? Other people might know that as the Jake brake. Uh, don't wait to figure it out on a grade. So you arrive at the shipper. Where do you go? What do you do next? Who do you talk to? You're going to be calling your mentor. You're going to be dealing with your HOS, your hours of service again. You're going to check in on your Panther app. Then you're going to go find a door that's marked or possibly unmarked to check in with the shipper and let them know you're there uh, and figure out from them where they want you to park. Where are you loading? Are you loading at a dock? Are you loading in their yard? Do you know how to load the freight? Do you know how to secure the freight? Have you lowered your landing gear? Do you need to dump your airbags? Um, how are you going to distribute the weight of the load so that you're not unbalanced? Right. Do you have to use chocks to secure your truck? How about load bars? Have you played with the load bars to see how they work yet? Or straps? Do you need load bars and straps? Who are you going to call and ask those questions to? I don't know. I don't either. What if I need furniture blankets? Hmm. That's a good one. That's mm. a good one. Have you received the paperwork from the shipper and verified the count, signed what they need you to sign, got your copies of it? Um, this is a BOL that they're going to be handing you, a bill of lading. Now you're going to check out from the shipper on the Panther route. Do you know how to do that? No? Who are you going to call? Your mentors. Oh, okay. Um, is your GPS set up for your consignee? Have you looked at the route? Do you know where you're going to stop for brakes? Where are you going to stop for fuel? Where, where and when you're going to get a, uh, do a driver swap? Mm -hmm. You've worked on where are you going to have a meal? Oh, we're going to have a meals now. Ooh, can you eat? Yeah, you can eat. Can you eat while driving? I don't know, can you? I don't know. Yeah. So are you going to stop for a meal or are you going to cook a meal in short? What's the plan for that? How much time do you have on the load? And will your stops be minimal? Or are you going to have time for um, longer rest breaks and meal times and those showers where you might have to wait an hour and a half to even get a shower. So uh, what, what kind of time do you have on your load? Did you get a nap today? Because you're the night driver and you've been up with me since we got this load off for this morning and driven to the pickup with me. Um, no, but, but here in an hour I'm going gonna, gonna to have a nap because I need a nap in order to drive my ship that starts at 3 o'clock. So um, yes, I do need proper rest. And I'm super excited because it's day two and I want to see where we're going right. and I want to see the sites and I want to know how to check in and use all the apps and all of that. But we've established a shift and I have to drive. So I'm going to have to get a nap. You have to get some sleep because otherwise drive, you can't drive all night. For, for, to drive roughly three to six hundred miles, um, which is you know six to ten hours, I'm going to be exhausted in the middle of the night. and. I've never worked a night shift before, so I should probably get a nap. You probably should get a nap. Yep. Have you done your paperwork yet that you need when you get to consignee? No, I don't know how to do that. Well, you got to learn how to do that too. Who am I going to call? Uh, your mentor, or Ooh. you can check the Panther driver handbook that was sent to you before you came out to the truck. That's right. Yeah. Um, at the consignee, you've got similar steps. you got to go park, check yourself in on the Panther route, go find, go to find the shipping and receiving area and uh, get assigned to a door. Yep, or where are they gonna unload you? Again, it could be in the middle of a yard. Um, so you're basically, you're repeating those steps that you did at the shipper, you're just doing them at the other end. Um, you're getting paperwork signed. What's your plan after you make your delivery? Are you available for a new load? Are you out of service for some reason? What's that plan look like? Where are we relocating to? Are we doing a truck stop, travel plaza, rest area? Um, do you need a shower? Are you going to fuel before you stop for the day or until yeah. you wait for that next load? What, what, I'm tired. I, I might need a nap. But probably. You probably should be asleep still. It's early yeah, in the morning. It, it should be. Yeah. Yep. Uh, I'm again, still super excited though. Shower, fuel, food. Groceries. Maybe I didn't get enough groceries. Yeah. So. So anyway, this is a typical day on day two. 
uh, of coming out here. So, and, and we're going to rinse and repeat for every day thereafter. Um, is kind of how it's going to go down. So your first 48 is going to be super busy, and then after you deliver your first load, it, it's to be expected um, that you're taking another load. And freight is pretty hot right now. We're usually pre-dispatched before we deliver. And we've included a shipment and delivery on day two, which may not be the case. It may sure. be the case that you pick up your, your 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 shipment on day two, and you deliver on day three or four. But sure. That, if that's the case, it means that you're going to have a couple of days or a day of driving mm -hmm. in between there, overnight of driving to get to your delivery, uh, to make it to your consignee. Yes, Vince, gave, Vince and I tried to do a basic cursory glance of a perfect load. Um, and again, Vince has just said that it could be a next day delivery, but it's still that longevity and we're trying to share how busy it's going to be. And that's the purpose of these two videos. There's a lot of information. Oh, that we haven't so covered info. in these two days on how to do these things. And those take time to learn. We don't expect you to come out here and know exactly what you're doing. Um, it's not like when you're a kid or a baby and you learn to crawl before you walk. Uh, unfortunately, you come out here and you're not even crawling and we try and teach you how to walk in just a short period of time. So are we trying to overwhelm people, Vince? No, we're not trying to overwhelm you, but the reality is you will be overwhelmed. Yes. Will you be tired, Vince? You will be exhausted. Mentally, physically, you will be exhausted. As a mother, it's more exhausting than being a first-time mom. As a father, I can't speak to being a mother. <laughs> It is a level of exhaustion um, I've never experienced before. So again, not trying to scare you. We would love to have you on board with us. We just want you to be prepared for coming out here and... Real, realistic expectations. Yes, being prepared to be exhausted. It does get better. As you learn more, it does get easier. Your stamina. There's always new things to learn. We're constantly learning new things. Each shipper or consignee has their own different uh, methods of doing things and rules for doing things and you learn that and you just go along with it. It's just part of uh, what we do in expediting is we learn to be flexible. Yes. So if you're interested and you want to come out here and you want to be exhausted for the first few days and you're super excited. But have fun and, and have see the fun sites and, and make some sites. money. Yeah. Uh, so if you want to do all that, you need a Class B, CDL at least. You could have a Class A. Uh, hazmat and tanker endorsements and a teammate. And a teammate. And then you would want to reach out to either us or um, Highfield Trucking. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you can reach out to us on Instagram or Facebook. You can leave comments here on this video. Like, if you have questions share. on what we talked about and want further information, please leave notes. Uh, we will do uh, further videos on the questions that we get asked to try and explain some of the stuff. but. We're going to wait for your questions before we do that video. Yeah, I agree. Okay. So without um, further ado, we really hope that you say yes to, to expediting and, and uh, come on board. So, all right. We hope you have a fantastic day and have you've a learned wonderful something day. new. And don't leave money on the table. I got about that. that part. I know. Bye. No Annie today. I'm sorry. She's at the vet. Getting her teeth cleaned. Oh.